Yo, this is Jay from Drinkity Drinks, just going on a little bourbon hunting today. And first stop's gonna be Target, Superstore, Super Target, whatever it's called in Tampa. Be our first stop to see what they got right here. So this is what the Target has. I did not see anything crazy. Supposedly people get good stuff from here. That's it. This is all the whiskey they have. Not that impressed. Let's continue our hunt somewhere else. So I talked to the dude, he said that they're getting uh, Blanton's Eagle Rare E.H. Taylor everything next Wednesday or next Friday before 11, which I'll be at work, working far as hell from here, so I ain't getting none of that. Just found a Costco's, let's see what they got in here. So they have Jim Bean, Big Boys, 20 bucks, some Irish whiskey, Basil Hayden, Bullet. Makers, Tennessee whiskey. Look at this Jack, Jack in a sack. Woodford Reserve, bourbon. What's this? Just a cool Jack Daniels. It's a cool little bag. Regular Jack, Scotch, Red Label, Crown. 12 years scotch. Glenn Levitt 12. Glenn Levitt. Nothing I'm really interested in. Remy, Remy Martin. Got Blue Label. Don Hooley. Uh, nothing really floated in my boat there, but um, it was on the way. Let's keep going. A little hungry. I had to stop for some quick pizza. Seen a Winn-Dixie liquor. Head in here and see what they got. Got a small batch. Better price than Target on that cash train. Nothing really that serious here. Womp womp. Okay, this one I have the highest hopes for. It's Publix. Some dude on Facebook at this this one um group I'm in said that there was a whole case of Eagle Rare behind the counter, but that was at lunchtime, so we'll see. Got big monkey shoulders right there. Chattanooga. Okay, so my hope is kind of dying. There's one more spot, maybe two more that I'm gonna go to. I've already been out here for like two hours. Um, it's not getting fun anymore. And um, yeah, the dude said there was not two cases, it was two bottles. So the guy on Facebook obviously lied, whatever. Okay, it's getting late as hell. It's like dark as hell out here. I heard a lot of things about this First Avenue liquor, which I'm about to so let's go in and see what they got. Um, this might be the best place so far, but I don't know. Uh, looks pretty cool from outside though. Let's see what they got. You guys have a really nice uh, whiskey collection or bourbon collection. Yeah, she does a really good job over here with the bourbons. Do you guys ever get in like any, uh, I seen you guys have Buffalo Trace stick on the thing. You guys ever get like Buffalo Trace products? Oh, uh, we have the Buffalo like... Trace uh, cream right now. Oh, the cream? Yeah. 
But you don't get like Blanton's or anything like that. Nothing that we can sell. Mm -hmm. So that place was the best place, um, but you need to win a lottery to get that stuff out of the cages, which you only pay market price. You spend $50, you get a ticket, and once a month there's a drawing. Um, I'll come back. I didn't really need any stuff from there, but when I get low on one of those bottles, I'll come back and buy one just to enter that raffle and see. And it's so dark. So this is my last stop. I'm gonna be ABC Wine and Spirits. Oh man, I'm drained already. It's already dark out. I've been driving f for hours. Yeah, I see a lot of typical stuff. I'm kind of blowing through these stores because I'm well, already drained from all this. So, um, there you go, man. That's what it's like hunting for bourbon. Um, you can't find it, especially Buffalo Trace products or any type of um, uh, really good, hard to get stuff. It's just that's what it is. It's hard to get. You'll never get a George T. Stagger. Or Weller. I mean, you gotta be an a ABC lottery for that. Or William LaRue Weller. Impossible. So, I finally made it home. A little closing thoughts is um, don't do what I do. I will not be doing this ever again. Uh, it was good. The good thing was because I'll never do this again. I'm not purposely going hunting. I'm not listening to people online saying, oh, this place got this. Like, forget that if I go through a place and it has it and I get lucky fine that one place I had a raffle I might buy a bottle there into the raffle that's cool or if I'm traveling stop at places on the way or go to certain states like they say Ohio that really has like a lot of Weller or something like that but like besides that don't waste your time like get it if you get it there's great whiskeys out there just drink stuff you already got stuff that's on the shelf every day look what I'm drinking makers 46 an old fashioned. You can find this bourbon at Walgreens, at almost anywhere. Maker's Mark is everywhere. I like the 46. It makes a great old fashioned. And this is what I'll be drinking. I can find it anywhere. Oh, that's good. I'll never run out of Maker's. Point blank. So, hope you guys learned something from this. Because I did, like I said. Something I won't be doing again. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe if you want. If not, whatever. If I get to 100 subscribers, I'll be giving away something. Quality would get better if I ever like get anything out of this, you know, buy a better camera or something. But besides that, you know, whether it's an allocated whiskey or something you can find on the shelf like this, next time you drink it, drink it with someone you love. Cheers, y'all.